In this lesson, we're going to be setting up the development environment. Now, I'll just point out that if you're already a coder, maybe you've already got your development environment sorted, then you can actually skip this video and go straight on to the next one. If, however, you'd like to follow along exactly with the same packages I'm using, then watch along, download the packages and install. Now everything we're going to install is free of charge. There's no payments to be made whatsoever. And they are very, very popular packages. And they're available for Mac and Windows. Now the first one we're going to be downloading is the code editor. And I prefer to use Visual Studio Code. And believe me, I've tried a lot of packages over the years. And this for me is by far the best one I've used. So you need to go to code.visualstudio.com. When you're on this page, you'll see this little button here with the drop down. Just make sure you're downloading the correct version and then go ahead and download that. I've already gone and downloaded that just to save a little bit of time. The next one we're going to download is a MAMP. So MAMP.info and go ahead and download. So I've got those two already downloaded just to save a little bit of time. And if I just bring in my finder window, here's my downloads area and there's MAMP and there's Visual Studio Code. Now I know that MAMP takes a little bit longer to install. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click to start that process. And it's just a normal install process as you would do for any program. And I presume it's the same for Windows as well. Just a very similar process. I'll just put my uh, password in here. Okay, installation successful. I'll just close that and I'll just keep that installer just in case. The next one is Visual Studio Code. So again, I'll just double click to open and that's already installed. Now for the Mac, it's installed in the downloads folder and I don't want it there. So I'll just grab it from there and just drop it into the applications folder. Let me just go across to the applications folder and we'll have a look at MAMP. There it is. And I'll just point out one or two things here. Uh, the first thing is htdocs, that folder. This is where you're going to be placing your code. So anything we code together will be going in this folder here. To launch MAMP, obviously just click on this icon here. Similar sort of thing for Windows, you'll have your htdocs folder. If I scroll down to Visual Studio Code, there it is there. I'm just going to double click to open that. Now your version of Visual Studio Code might have a little welcome screen here. And all you need to do is click on the top to close that. On the left hand side, you shouldn't have anything in there. This is just the Explorer. If you do again, don't panic, we can take care of that. But what I'm going to do next is just open MAMP. So across to MAMP and I'm just going to open that by double clicking on the icon. Now when I open MAMP on my default setting, again, because I have had this installed previously, you can see here we've got this little spinning wheel saying it's trying to start the servers. And to be honest, it can be a little bit temperamental. If you experience any issues with that, then just restart your machine. Now you can see my servers have already started and I've got this little window appeared in my browser. Let me just go back to MAMP. So what's actually happened is my servers have started, but yours might not do that. Just go into preferences and you can tick to start servers, check for updates, open the web start page, which is this page in the background and stop servers. If you do experience any issues still after a restart, just go to your ports and you might have to change your port numbers. Now I've changed these to 8,000, 8,000 and 8,001 and click OK, and then the servers would start. If you do have any issues, just contact me. I'm always willing to help uh, sort out those sorts of things anyway. So I'll just click on OK to close that. Now, as I said, when you click on Web Start, it will open up this window here in your browser. And if you have a look up here, it says My Website. And if I click on that, it takes me to this page here. And uh, we've got this local host address on a Mac. On Windows, I think it just says localhost, so you will have the numbers on the end. I have this welcome page here, and that is just the default welcome. And we can take care of that in a second. Now, what you might want to do is to keep this bookmarked, because you're going to be opening this page fairly frequently. 
I'm in Chrome, so all I need to do is just drag on this icon and drag it down to my bookmarks bar. If your bookmarks bar isn't showing, just go to uh, View and Always Show Bookmarks. Okay, well, let's head back to Visual Studio Code. And in here, what you notice is because I've started MAMP, this index.php has appeared. Now, if yours doesn't appear, what you can do is go to File, Open, and then I want you to navigate to Applications, MAMP, and then htdocs. And you notice that's that index.php. Now, obviously on a Windows machine, it's going to be slightly different, but navigate to your C folder and then look for MAMP and htdocs, and then click on Open, and it just opens this thing here. So as I said earlier, this is just your navigation panel, and it's just a typical navigation as you see on any machine. You can have folders and files in here, and we'll be adding more sections as we go through the course. Now, if I click on to open index.php, you can see all the code that generated that page we were looking at. What I'm going to do is just select all of that. So I'm going to press delete to get rid of it. And if you press command S or control S on your keyboard, that will save the file and then head back to your browser and just do a quick refresh. Uh, for me, I press command R and there we see we've got a blank screen because we deleted all of that code. In the next lesson, we're going to go for what I call a quick win. So we're going to produce some code and you might not understand it straight away, but that's fine. I'll take you through step by step. The important thing for this lesson was to get the coding environment set up and working. So just a quick recap, we've installed Visual Studio Code. That is the code editor. MAMP, that is the backend server and we need that so we can work with PHP and close that. We came to this welcome page for MAMP and when you open MAMP, you can click on my website to take you to this website here. Now, obviously you shouldn't need to do that all the time. So as I said, the best thing to do is just to bookmark that page. Now, if you experience any issues, please, please, please get in touch. Don't feel isolated and frustrated. It's one of the worst things in the world not to be able to start the course on a good footing. And if that requires just a quick one-to-one -one Zoom call, we can sort that out as well. Now that that's all done, let's move on to lesson two. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.